Another school year is about to start, and the Taipei MRT is preparing to welcome more riders. The Metro Authority plans to launch a crowd management system that was developed in-house. The system can track passenger volume in real time. Whenever a station gets too many people, it closes the fare gates to prevent overcrowding. It's rush hour on the Taipei MRT and commuters are out in force. With the new school year about to start, it's only about to get more crowded. The Metro Authority plans to use technology to control the upcoming surge. It's using a system that detects real-time congestion inside carriages. The system can also tell which stations have the most riders. Whenever at least two red lights flash for a train, or when six orange lights flash, we will ask riders to board the train's less crowded carriages. We will also implement controls on the gates. The system works like this. Real-time ridership data is sent to the control center, which crunches the numbers, factoring in time of day and carriage congestion. If there are too many riders at a given station, limits will be imposed. Some or all the fare gates will be closed to restrict entry. Now in its soft launch, the system is being used along the Wenhu and Banan lines. Relatively high peak period traffic usually occurs between Longshan Temple Station and Ximen Station, so there will be more controls imposed at Longshan Temple Station. On behalf of the Taipei city government and Mayor Ke, I want to appeal to all public and private enterprises, as well as agencies and organizations, to stagger the work times of their employees. To reduce COVID risk, the city government and transport authorities urge metro riders to spread out, moving to emptier carriages as needed.